Today, trans fans will be looking at Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Decepticon Crankcase on where I got it figured. The way I got it figured. <laughs> Hey, out there in action figure land tonight, we're looking at Crankcase, um, the Legacy Deluxe from Wave 3 of Transformers Legacy. Um, Crankcase, I've already got them loaded up with some blast effects here. I'm going to take those off so you can see them unmodified. Uh, but as you can see, he has blast effect compatibility. Um, when he was shown off um, around September, uh, you know, it was a big thing about his trigger con gimmick. Uh, Mark Mayer uh, wanted this guy in the line and got him in there. And Crankcase has, you know, been a little bit more prominent in recent years. Um, he was part of the uh, scavengers team in IDW's uh, initial Transformers continuity. Um, and here he is in all his cranky glory. Um, the character's character, you know, he's, his character is uh, basically defined kind of as this perpetually angry kind of um, Decepticon, angry at everyone and everything. Um, cranky, so to speak. Uh, which, you know, I may have uh, a little bit in common with. But he is a retool, a partial uh, retool of the skids mold. Um, so you can see a lot of the kind of skids bits here in the legs um, with the chest being the biggest difference and of course the head and uh the doors kind of of the car mode going up here rather than folding out like wings like the skid skid does um he has the two weapons one of them of course is the same weapon as skids this is the energon infused weapon as you can see and then he's got this weird almost boombox looking weapon even though it's the front grill of the car mode um both of these little pegs obviously old blast effects as i already showed you um and then he's got his um kind of midgety trigger con um cannons there for transforming into robot mode disappointingly I will say the cannon are not blast effect compatible. So if you look here, like the, the nubs are way too thick to support a blast effect. But while we're while we got him this close, of course we can get get some more detail on his face. And the portrait is top notch. I mean, it's it's the it's like a updated version of Crankcase from 1988. So that part is cool. Um, I got this figure from a buddy of mine um, as a loner to do this review. So that would that's why there's no box. Um, while I don't stand on the formality of um, doing, you know, of always having the box or whatever. When I buy a figure new, I figure I might as well just go ahead and do an unboxing of it. Um, but this one's going to be just a review. So don't be surprised if you go back on the channel and see everything that says review go back to like turns into like unboxing and then things that don't have boxes just say review. So don't be surprised. If I do that, just for consistency's sake, because, you know, sometimes I do that. But, overall, um, there's nothing nothing to complain about, nothing to write home about either. He's kind of middle-of-the-road humdrum, just like Skids. 
um, who came out earlier than uh, I was reviewing figures. Um, but, you know, their YouTube is replete with skids reviews. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, there you go. So, next, I will transform him into his um, vehicle mode. And we'll get a look at that. All right, so after a little bit of technical difficulty, we got uh, crankcase into his vehicle mode. Um, the transformation isn't tough. There's just a couple of things you need to definitely do correctly. I uh, put him in the correct order, um, but you know, slight interruption aside, we got it done. Um, and his vehicle mode is, you know, it looks different enough from the skids mode to make it seem like a little s you know different type of suv than perhaps what skids is oh, got his gun there and of course the other weapon that integrates into the grill and of course we got your little blast effect there you go All right, so we'll get skids retransformed and give a couple of comparisons or a comparison and final thoughts. Okay, so here's Crankcase with his scavengers teammate. Um, poop. All right, here's uh, crap. Okay. Here's Crankcase with his Scavengers teammate, Spinister. Uh, Spinister was from Siege, along with his uh, Battle Masters that was given out to everybody but him. Um, Target Masters, Battle Masters, Heater, and Hair Splitter, or Shroot, as he's now called. And uh, they had some fun stories. Uh, running into the, the, the Decepticon Justice Division and all that kind of stuff in um, the IDW initial timeline. But I think it's cool to get, you know, sort of like the also rans of the Decepticons. Not everybody can be a Starscream or a Thundercracker. 
you need your rank and file cranky perpetually angry uh you know also rans as well and uh crankcase is that if he's not even if he's not the most innovative figure in the world he's pretty decent um he's definitely uh passable um and you know when i say passable i mean you know you could definitely buy him he's not he's not terrible um for deluxe there's things that, they, that they're trying to do with them like you know working the trigger con gimmick the only thing i think i would like better is that that you know these stubby little cannons i mean it's not that hard to put a blast effect port on there um and of course you know it speaks to the idea that in some cases they sort of were going away from it like blaster not having any blast effect capability uh compatibility whatsoever but i'm glad they're keeping it you know where they can and and that's cool and it is nice that he did at least get them um perhaps further trigger cons or trigger bots that get made will work it in a little bit better but it all depends on if it's an original mode or if it's a retool or something so uh, final thoughts on Crankcase. I'm going to give Crankcase a solid 7. Um, he's a retool of an existing mold, which is Skids. And, you know, the Skids mold is good, but it's not the world's greatest mold. Um, I mean, I'm happy with it, but, uh, you know, I think there are probably better deluxes. Um, so, yeah, we're going to give Crankcase a 7. Um, I do have fondness for the character, so um, when I have a chance to pick one up for myself, I certainly will. Um, so that's going to do it for this one. Um, if you like the content, please uh, give me a like, a, co a comment, and obviously subscribe. Um, where comments are concerned, I do respond to all comments, and um, I do thank everybody for watching my videos um, I do have a few other Transformers videos to post before the year's out. Um, but I am winding down a couple more classifieds, a couple of Marvel Legends. So stay tuned for that. Um, at the beginning of the year, I'll probably do the top this and top that of 2022 uh, type video. So look out, be on the lookout for those. All right, guys, stay safe, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.